Hi all you lovely people out there. So today I'm going to talk to you for a little bit, not about my current travels in New Zealand, but about some decisions I've made about my future travel. So if you look to my website then you'll know that my next stop, my next plan was Peru after this. So five and a half weeks now in New Zealand, going back for a couple of weeks for Valentine's and my boyfriend's birthday and then a month in Peru before going off to Italy. So that was the plan. I've always been a really, well I've always thought that I was a really independent person and I am but I didn't realise quite how much I would miss my boyfriend being this far away for such a long time. I've never had this before where I've missed someone so much. Which I guess is nice because it shows I care. But it just means that it makes it really difficult. And it's just made me reassess the way I want to travel over the next however many months. I have made the decision to change my plans. I am no longer going to be going to Peru. Instead, I'm going to travel probably mainly Europe. Places where I can go away for a week, two tops. Places that my boyfriend can maybe come with me for a bit. Or I can go and see a city for a week and be back for a weekend. So I can still get to do this. I can still travel, but I don't miss out on everything else. I kind of just need to do this in a different way. And that's all I've realized is that I want to travel so bad, like so bad, but not at the detriment of my relationship. Not that that was going to fall apart, but it's really tough on me and it's really tough on him. And it just seems ridiculous when I could do it in a different way and get the best of both worlds. So, in a way, it just makes sense when you think about it. So this way, I still get to see him and be with him. And I still get to go travel. So, it's kind of a no-brainer. So, yeah, kind of a change of plans. But it's made me really happy. So, yeah. There's just so many times that I've been here that it's so incredible and I just look at something and go, oh, I wish I could share this moment with him or I wish he could see this. And I guess that's one of the things about solo travel, which is fine, but if you're in a relationship, you want to be able to share those moments with someone and share those sights and those experiences. So, yeah, <laughs> bit of a change around. I will still be sharing footage and bits places I go. So just wanted to take this moment to have some like, real conversation about what's what's going on and actually that things aren't necessarily as clear cut as you initially think. And you know what? The most sensible thing you can do is actually Reevaluate your priorities, make a decision, and do what's right for you. You know, you need to travel the way that works for you, and this is what's going to work for me. Okay, well that's that's it for now. I just wanted to share that all with you. <laughs> I hope everyone's well, and I'll um, I'll catch up with you about my actual current travels soon. Okay, bye.